transmitted from the HRAs is purely antithetical to every variant of the His signal I can arrange. But how did, darling? No, it's happening. After all these years, Dylan is here. Oh, but am I too late? How is he? I need to know. He's clearly been affected by the His, but it's different than any other manifestation we've recorded. Maybe what makes you so special is genetic. He was a prime candidate. Or maybe it's Polaris protecting him, something else affecting the situation. I need to run tests. He seems more in control, more present. I want to see him. My brother. Or is he? Of course. Now, Marshall set up an HRA-warded cage to contain him. It's on the upper floor, up the stairs. Okay, I need to go. Jesse, be careful. I don't think I ever told you this, but I was actually on the path to being a ranger once. Did the whole boot camp thing. Even got rookie status. Anyway, not the point. My own ranger squad was a great bunch. There were six plus me. Remus, Hazard, Cho, Guy, Hepton, Stall, and Thompson. They were supposed to get back from an expedition yesterday. We had beers and wings planned. Problem is, they weren't here when Darling handed out the HRAs. Then they had nothing protecting them from the hiss. You see, they prepped for the worst, but I think that we're already past that. We all wore these pouches around our neck, and I really don't want the his to get them. Could you find him for me? Uh, the squad would have come back through maintenance, but they probably spread out from there. I'll keep an eye out for them, Arish, and I won't let them stay his. What's the deal with Blackrock? Oh, fuck. Don't get me started on Blackrock. You know, ever since research found out that it blocks paranatural stuff, they have just been parading dangerous materials in and out of the fucking quarry. <sighs> fucking lab coats, man. Love making my job harder. Sounds like there's some tension between departments. Still, at least the quarry's got a good view of the night sky. You know, me and Salvador used to have after-work beers down there. What do you know about Dr. Darling? Uh, about as much as anybody, I guess. Head of research. Loves to hear himself talk. All of those science types absolutely do. Uh, now he's been acting a little bit psycho recently. Although HR told me not to use that word, so... Everyone thinks finding Darling will lead us to the answers. But if he's completely lost it, then what help could he be? You're security, right? Do you work with rangers? Not often. Rangers are specially trained in threshold reconnaissance and ground zero AWE response. Security is more interested in the dangers inside the Bureau. They must see some weird stuff out there. Oh yeah, definitely. You know, every week they are tackling things that were previously unknown to the human experience. Most Rangers, they retire due to cognitive collapse. I looked up the medical definition. Not fun. How does the Bureau handle thresholds? Handle might be a bit of an optimistic way to put it. Um, Marshall sends arrangers in to map them, check growth rates, locate epicenters, take samples, measure stuff, basically. Sounds like he's done his homework. Now, down in maintenance, thresholds are used just like any other tool. The lab coats mine black rock from one, maintenance siphons water from another. We use it for pretty much everything, except drinking. Why don't you drink it? Do I even want to know? Uh, yeah, a lot of time we find these little chunks in it. It's uh, pretty gross. I didn't want to know. What do you think of Marshall? Marshall? <laughs> Marshall's a fucking badass. Rangers could not ask for a better leader. She's a little, uh, you know, intense, but given the stuff she's seen, I'm not surprised. She does have a bad habit of disappearing, though. Where does she go? Uh, last time she vanished, I did some digging into the security logs. I found camera footage of her entering the quarry. She was down there alone for days. Now, typically that's not allowed, but Marshall is kind of above the rules. I wonder what she finds so interesting in the quarry. I have to go. Me too. You're not the only one who's busy, you know.
HRA production. They're already getting other survivors out of safe rooms. Great. You need to get back to my office. What do you know about this Arish guy? I heard some rangers trying to save them in maintenance. They were attacked by a new kind of hiss, and Arish got them out. All right, but still, a security guard leading rangers? Did you see that hiss they marched through here? Why the fuck didn't we put a bullet in that thing's head? I heard it's the director's brother. Would you shoot your brother? That's no one's brother anymore. He's the enemy, plain and simple. Marshal orders us to just sit on our asses and then leaves? Do you know who I am? Oh, you know me. Say it. You are Dylan Faden's sister. He's talking in the third person. Always a good sign. Do you know who you are? Not Dylan. Trench and Darling made sure of that. I'm P6. P6. But I'm better now. The hiss made me better. Push the fingers through the surface into the wet. You've always been the new you. You want this to be true. Can you stop that? True. Please. <sighs> Not exactly the reunion I'd hoped for. It feels good to say those words. I want to say them. They sound good. They make me feel good. Don't you want to say them too? No. Fuck off, no. You need to help me get this thing out of his head. If he is still in there, if there is anything left, you have to you. help me. You! You came in through the hole in you. We let you in. You've always been here. The only true a copy of a copy of a copy of a copy. Stop it! Orangeville. Shit! Shit! He can see you. This is not safe. We found Polaris together with my sister when we were very small. In ordinary. In the desert, through the door opened up by the slide projector. But she didn't help when Trench took me away. She didn't give me any powers. All the powers are my own powers. And <laughs> she didn't help when they locked me up for years. After the song time for applause, we build you till nothing remains. The air cracks and the truth will march out of you. You are home. The Bureau brought the slide projector back here with me. And the Bureau did what the Bureau does. They used it. And they found... They opened the door up to the hiss. That's the only thing I can thank them for. There. There it is. We stopped the Altered World event in Ordinary when we shut down the slide projector. And now the projector's here. I'm your worm is a tune you can't stop humming in a dream. Baby, 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 yeah. 
Just plastic. So safe. Nothing to worry about. <laughs> Funny. I welcomed the hiss. I let it in. To get rid of her. The hiss set me free. Polaris is using you. The Bureau is using you. You are a puppet. You can almost hear our words, but you forget. If we shut this off the slide more. projector, maybe, maybe that will stop the hiss. In your regulations. Maybe it's not too late for my brother. You must see the truth for yourself, Jesse. Sister. The horrible truth about the Bureau. The hiss is the better option. Go to the Prime Candidate program in the containment sector. I have the key card to get you there. Salvador wanted me to have it. Wanted? Bullshit. I saw what the hiss did to Salvador. What it turned him into. Okay, Dylan. I'll go. I want to see the truth for myself. I'll go. But only to look for this light projector. You can help me. We can end this. You are a one through time. The you are a one through time. The thunderstorm distorts you. Happiness comes. White burns the yellow and red in the eye. Through a mirror, the inverted is clear. Right. We can just step by four. Push through the wrong one through time. They're endangering us by bringing a hissing. get blamed for this mess in the next performance review. I have a captain. Hi there, ma'am. How's the fridge repair coming along? I'll see you later, Langston. I'll be here, like always.
P6 and P7. things had gone differently in ordinary for us. Wishing won't change things. Finding the projector will. There's so much coming together in this one case. Uh, a new object of power, something we have not seen before. I mean, coming from me, that's, that's saying something. I, the boy, Dylan Faden. Prime candidate six. And the sister as well. I mean, once we catch up with her, but... The, Boy, so much potential. Well, we're talking Northmore level readings here. And, and I don't want to invoke his name, but it's completely different circumstances here.
this what Dylan wanted me to see? It doesn't matter. We need to find that projector. All the times I felt paranoid, I was right. The Bureau could have given me the answers, but they just stood by and watched me. We used to play there all the time. I... I don't think so. I don't remember. Maybe. I don't know. They studied what happened in ordinary here. That's the place to start looking. I were both prime candidates. Experiments.
we're going back home. Of course we are. It started there, and it's... never gone away. There's got to be a way to rotate these tracks. Maybe there's a control panel nearby. Something's blocking it. It won't rotate. Something's blocking it.
There is a curious correlation with the yet unknowable forces intruding upon our world in the form of altered world events. These forces gravitate toward archetypal objects, a gun, a, a television, a, a supposedly haunted house. So clearly humanity affects this process. Our collective unconscious is a, a map of sorts. We hold the key, but we don't know how to use it. We create these archetypes through everyday life popular culture, urban legends, but we are observing and influencing a complicated system in action. We can change the likelihood of something being a receptacle for these forces just by thinking about it. But we haven't found a method to control the outcome. And yet, there's something unique in us, in our dreams, in the conceptual reality with power, with our minds. What's the cause and what's the effect? Are we the starting point or just a necessary evil in this? A byproduct, a reflection, a projection. We'll struggle to find the answers to these hard questions or die trying. <laughs>
Annual evaluation of Dylan Faden, formerly P6, Dr. Colbon. The questions asked will correspond to the fifth of this. See what they have on ordinary. It's all here. Our home, our school, the woods, the dump. projector in the dump outside town. Did they recreate that too? Is that where they keep it? You mentioned a poem last time we talked. By Thomas Zane? Yes. Beyond the shadow we settled for. There's a more. Hmm. I looked the poem up. I mean, I couldn't find it. the whole landfill here in the middle of New York and nobody saw a thing. Pretty unbelievable.
Effective immediately. I'm setting up a new department. Dimensional research in the research sector. Uh, transferring the slide projector there. That's where my focus will be now. The ordinary site remains as is. We'll be back to... I, I don't know when. Darling took the projector to the research sector. He dedicated a whole area to it, so he knew it was important. Dimensional research. That's where we go next. <laughs> <laughs> 